So I am the technical director. I'm basically in charge of all technical things related to Rock US. I have touched and installed every single piece of equipment uh, that we offer. Um, any sort of issues that my technicians or customers run into, um, I'm kind of like the first line of defense for any issues that, that do arise and also training. I met one of the Livingston guys out in Moab. He came over and we started talking and he's like, dude, I like I you sell because at the time we were Ryanette. He's like, you guys sell my product. It's like, holy shit, small world, right? I've I've been in contact with him just because he's a van owner. We kind of text back and forth. So it's it's been a good relationship. They're good guys. I think it was when they told me that they were looking at putting it on this machine, they shot some videos over and I'm like, man, that is really, really cool. And then we started kind of interacting and trying to figure out how we could make this work. And one of our technicians has a press out in California and we started kind of working with him and developing how this would attach to the rock. And um, that's kind of where, where we started. And now we, we have a, a working machine. Um, we're still working mm -hmm. on a few little odds and ends, but other than that, I, I mean, we showed it at Long Beach. It is a working machine. It, it's great. The loading device where the cylinder comes up, once you break the plane of the no, uh, the shirt detector, the first cylinder comes up, you load the shirt, and when you're ready to catch the collar and pull it over the pad, you press a little foot pedal and it pops that collar up over the pad that you're gonna set the tag portion down on. It's very simple, very easy to use. The engineering, I mean, it, it is a very simple machine. It's built well. It's out of 8020, which is industrial standard. Like, I mean, you could build anything out of this stuff. As far as loading and unloading the screen and doing all that, registering it, it's so simple. It's very, very easy to do compared to, uh, say, with a any, an ASPI or something. You've got the one screen or maybe a couple sizes per screen where this, I've got a 2331, which really I could even go with a longer screen if I wanted to. So I could have every single size of that run on that one screen and just keep pulling it out per size. I mean, it, it's so simple. It's very easy for us to integrate it into a rock. Uh, no modifications needed. We're just removing pieces and adding like the screen frame holder, couple switches, and then the load unload. I mean, it just sits out. It's actually a probably a better safety barrier than what is currently at most rock shops. The UMs, they have the long security bars that go straight and then on all of the other ones, it typically has a center post on all of the XLs and above. And most people don't like that post being there because it kind of gets in the way where this is like a solid bracket. Like you bolt this down to the ground and you know that your operator is not going to step into that area and get struck. So really, it's also another safety device that we have on our machines, which is good. This safety should be everybody's main concern. I can tell you that it's not going to slow you down. The load device and unload device, I mean, it is, it's so quick. It's within seconds that this is happening. It is very easy to, to load. Loading on those pallets might be easier because it, it has the shape of like a, a neck and shoulders, right? So it mm -hmm. kind of centers your shirt already by having that pallet. It's unloading itself, which is great. Um, very easy to operate. And then when you're not tagging, it's just leave the pallets on. They're easy to load on. So you're really not interchanging between sizes or, well, I guess if you're, you're printing, say youth, you'd obviously have to change sizes, but, um, you can just leave those pallets on. You really don't have to go back to the standard honeycomb that come on the press. As far as the integration, I think it's super easy to get used to. I think it takes a little bit at the beginning to figure out the catch, right? But you start loading, I'd say maybe 30 shirts in, you're gonna figure out that catch and you're gonna be able to speed up, but you're not gonna be as fast as the machine no matter what. Um, most most printers, I would say. So if you add that all that extra time of, you know, the shirt going at the end of the dryer, the catcher catching it, it goes onto a pile over to the tagging machine. And then that entire process until it comes back to the dryer add that time up and the cost that you're going to be saving that. So I believe their timeline for tag bots, uh, I don't know what their production schedule is now, but I know when we were talking at ISS, it was like between four to six weeks 
And then um, once that's ordered and shipped, if you're planning on getting this installed during your actual install, um, I mean, we're just going to add uh, another day and a half or two days to that just to get the tag bot set up. So really, it's just going to extend out your install. For customers that already have a rock and want this to be installed, it's just going to be a matter of availability on schedule. But if you plan it correctly, all of this comes together at the same time. You're not waiting for a technician. It's all of this is ready. I've scheduled a tech. We're doing the install when everything comes together. So. It, it shouldn't be too bad, but it's like a, I believe a two day install is what they're calling it. It's pretty easy to install. Say you bought one of these and you have a, a UM machine and you buy a tag bot. And in a year or two years down the road, you decide that you want to upgrade to say a P14 XL Next or Eco. This same device will work on both machines, all machines. It's just a matter of sliding in and out the load and unload and then we take the frame holder off and put it on your new press. So it's kind of cool the way that they made it. It will work on really any machine. They're working on developing it for the old one. I'm really excited for us to, to get this going. It's one of my projects. I'm working on the weekends and after hours just because that's where I can spend the most time and not be interrupted. Um, so hopefully it will get done soon and you'll start seeing it um, for sale everywhere.